So as you start using the new class system inside of Generate Blocks, you're going to run up against sections that you created previous to the system existing, or you might fall into old habits and start styling things at the block level when what you really need is a class. Thankfully, Generate Blocks already thought of this and has created a system for you to easily be able to copy styles from the block over to a class. So let's talk about how this works. Here inside this demo, I've gone ahead and set up a container with an inner container. On the inner container, I've given it a background and a border radius and some padding. I've done all this here at the block level. Inside the container, I have a headline that I've also styled and a button that I've styled individually at the block level as well. Now, what I want to be able to do is reuse these styles across my entire website. So I need to get these styles over from the block level into a class. To do that is actually pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and click on the container here. We're going to scroll up to the top and we're going to call this CTA wrapper. We'll go ahead and hit create. And when we do, we'll be given this menu of choices. We have four different choices in here. We can start with an empty style. We can clone an existing style. We can copy block styles or we can move block styles. Now these last two are what we want to consider here first because we're actually wanting to get these styles from the block. If we copy the block styles, the styles will live on the block and on the new class we're creating. If we move the block styles, it will remove the styles from the block and push them over into the class, which is exactly what we want to do in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and click move block styles and click start editing. Now you can see we're editing the CTA wrapper class. And if we go into the backgrounds, we can see this blue color has been added here. In the spacing, our padding has been added here. And in the borders, our border radius has been added here into this class. However, if we hop back into the block level and go down to the spacing, you can see we have our indicator here showing that it's actually being controlled by a global style, but those values are no longer at the block level. So now we can go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of our elements here on our heading. I'm going to call this CTA heading and click create. Again, we're going to move these block styles. And lastly, on the button, I'll call it CTA button and we'll hit create. Again, we'll move these block styles from the block to the class. Now you can see all these styles for the button, including the different values I gave it for padding or even the background colors have been added here and they've been added to the pseudo classes for hover and things like that, where these colors actually need to change once they're being hovered. Now, perhaps this system is so intuitive that I didn't really need to do a demo, but I have found myself needing to do this quite a bit, whether that's updating things that was built before the class system was implemented or falling into those old habits and styling things at the block level without creating a class first. Thankfully, Generate Blocks built all these systems already in place, so switching everything over to a class system is pretty easy. Now we're still covering a lot of things inside this latest release of Generate Blocks, so if you wanna make sure to stay up to date with all the latest changes, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for the next video. We'll see you then.